all to my channel is this your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe in today's tutorial we are going to make a simple video on how to cut and sew overlapping short jackets what are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your overlapping short jackets we have our shoulder measurements bust waist and our top length feel free to join us on facebook to the designs on instagram to the designs and also visit our website we have amazing fashion illustration on our website all the details are going to be in the description box below so let's go ahead now and calculate our measurements our shoulder measurements is 18 18 divided by 2 we have 9 our bus is 44 44 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 13 inches our waist is 42 42 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 12.5 our top length is 24 24 plus 2 inches for our sewing allowance we have 26 inches so these are the measurements required in order for you to achieve your overlapping short jacket now another thing you also need to take note of is your shoulder to your half length because that is where we are going to have the wrap effect why from the waist or your half length to your desired um, top length is where we are going to have our flay so our shoulder now to half length our shoulder to half length is 18 inches. Shoulder to half length is 18 inches. So you just go ahead and add 1 inch for your sewing allowance. Plus 1, we have 19 inches. So from our shoulder to our waistline, we are going to have 19 inches. Now for the flip part of the dress, we are going to have 24 minus 19 inches. 24 minus 19 inches. And then we are going to have what? Five inches. So for the lower side of our dress, we are going to have five inches plus two inches for our sewing allowance. We have seven inches. Why for the half length, we are going to have 18 inches plus one, we have 19 inches. So these are the measurements required in order for you to achieve your overlapping short jackets. If you have any question in the course of this tutorial, please feel free to drop it in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on. Trainings are available, both online training and physical training. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. Feel free to drop your questions in the comment section and also turn on the notification bell. So now, let's move to the The first thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and mark our basic measurements. So we'll go ahead and mark our basic measurements we have shoulder to bust 10 inches, shoulder to arm o oh, 9 and a half, shoulder to under bust 14 and a half, and then we have shoulder to our half length which is 19 inches. So the next connecting the lines, this is what we have. So we are drafting the back block first before we draft the front block where we are going to have our overlapping so the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and mark our dart measurement which is four and a half mark your dart measurement four and a half go ahead and connect the lines together on the waistline go ahead and mark half inch on both sides connect the lines to your bust point so this is basically what you are going to have. Once you are done with that, the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and mark your basic measurement. So our shoulder measurement is 9 inches. Our bust is 13 inches. Our waist is 12.5. So we'll go ahead and connect the lines together. Now, I make use of my pattern masters, and pattern masters are available at our store. So, I make use of my arm o curve to connect my bust line to my shoulder line. Now, once you are done with that, the next thing you have to do now is to go ahead and mark your neckline. So, for my neckline, I'm making use of 3 inches, and for the deepness of the neckline, I'm making use of 1 inch. 
go ahead and connect it together now on your arm oh go ahead and mark half inch for your shoulder slope and then you connect it to your neckline so guys this is basically what you are going to have for your back block so we'll go ahead now and cut this out after cutting it out this is what you have for your back block so we'll go ahead now and set this aside where we are going to have our wrap the first thing we are going to do is to go ahead and mark four inches go ahead and mark four inches once you are done with that you go ahead and connect it together so this is basically what we are going to have now the reason why we mark this four inches is so that we can have our wrap effect done the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and mark your dart measurement so we have four and a half now you will discover that we are marking our dart measurement from this four inches okay so you go ahead now and connect the lines together on your waistline go ahead and mark half inch on both sides connect it to the bust line so this is what we are going to have the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and mark your arm hole so we have nine inches our bust measurements we have 13 our waist we have 12.5 We'll go ahead now and connect the lines together. We'll also make use of our arm o curve, which comes in our pattern set to connect our bust line to our shoulder measurement. So once you are done with that now, the next thing you have to do now is to go ahead and mark your neckline. We made use of 3 inches for the neckline and we'll also mark our shoulder slope, which is half inches. We'll go ahead and connect it together. Now, in order for you to have your overlapping, in order for you to have your overlapping effect, you are going to go ahead and connect your neckline to your waistline. You go ahead and connect your neckline to your waistline. Go ahead and connect our waistline, our neckline to the waistline. Connect it this way. So once you connect it, this is what you are going to have. The next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and cut this out. I'm cutting it, this is what you are going to have for the front block. So the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and transfer it to our fabric. So I'll be making use of this African print and African prints are available at our store, both in wholesale and in retail prices. You can see how beautiful the African print is. So the first thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and fold your fabric into two. Folding your fabric into two, you go ahead and take your pattern, place it on it and then you cut this out. It's after cutting it out. This is what we are going to have for the front block where we have our wrap. This is what it looks like. So you can go ahead and either place it this way or you place it this way. It depends on how you actually want it to be. So the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and set this aside. The next thing we are going to do now for the back block is you go ahead and fold your fabric into two. After folding your fabric, you place your pattern on it and then you go ahead and cut this out. It's once you are done cutting it out, for the back block, you are going to have one single piece for the back block. So we'll go ahead now and set this aside. So guys, the next thing we want to do now is to cut out the lower part where we have our flay. So we've gone ahead now to fold our fabric into four. The next thing we are going to do now is to mark our waist measurement at this edge. Now, our waist measurement, after dividing it, we have 12.5. Go ahead and place your tape measure where you will have 12.5. But because we are cutting excess more than the exact waist measurement, so I'm going to make it of 14 inches. So this is where we have 12.5. So I'll go ahead now and mark it. So I'll place my tape measure this way. Take it this way to check what I have. So I have 10 inches. I'll take it this way, mark 10 inches. Take it this way and mark 10 inches. Once we are done with that, go ahead and connect 
the lines together go ahead and connect the lines together this is what we have now from this point now you go ahead and mark your flay length from this point now you go ahead and mark our flay length which is seven inches so i'll go ahead now and mark it which is seven inches so guys now from this point now you go ahead and measure your flay length which is seven inches so once you've done that you go ahead and place your tape measure from this point to where you marked earlier we have 19 inches so you take your tape measure this way and then you take it to the edge once you are done you go ahead and connect the lines together so this is what we are going to have so we'll go ahead now and cut out this point and we'll also cut out this point so this is where we are attaching to our basic top which is the upper block and from here to this other part is where we have as our flay length so we are done with that this is what we are going to have you can see our flay now so we'll go ahead and open up one point where we are going to attach to our basic block so this is what we have so when we want to cut out the cape is where we are done joining every piece together and i'm going to show you guys how to do that so the next thing i'll do now is to go ahead and cut out my interface for all of the we are going to cut out now is our sleeve and for the sleeve length we have 22 inches for our round sleeve we have 18 18 divided by 2 we have 9 inches so note that you have to divide your round sleeve by two. We have nine inches and then we'll add two inches for our sewing allowance, okay? So I folded my sleeve into four. I folded my sleeve into four. This is what we have. So the next thing you are going to do now is at this edge, go ahead and mark three and a half. Go ahead and mark three and a half and then you connect it this way. Then you connect what you have here to your round sleeve. So this is actually very easy. So what I did here was mark three and a half, connect it in a slant form. At the lower side, you go ahead and mark your round sleeve. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to go ahead and cut this. Guys, once you are done cutting it, this is what we are going to have. So we'll go ahead now and set this aside. For the front block now, we've also gone ahead to cut out our lining, what you are going to do now is to place your lining this way and you also place your lining this way place your lining this way now you are basically going to make use of your lining to turn your upper block so you go ahead now and stitch this slant side once you are done with that you also stitch the side and you do the same for this other piece the back block also you also have your lining go ahead and place it on your back block once you are done with that you stitch your neckline and the two sides guys now this is what we have we've gone ahead now to turn our back block and for the front block also we've also turned it with lining so the next thing you are going to do now is to place your front block on your back block this way so once you are done with that you go ahead and stitch your shoulders make use of your bust measurements and your waist measurements to couple this up so that you can have a single piece this way once you are done with that we have our flay so we've also gone ahead to turn our flay also with lining this is what we have for the upper block and then we've gone ahead to use our bust measurement and our waist measurement to couple this up and i also went ahead to fix in my sleeve so the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and measure the neckline all the way around so that we can fix in our cape at that point okay so basically we just go ahead now and measure what we have so just go, make sure you measure it like twice to be sure of your measurements okay so we have 46 inches i'm going to go ahead and cut out about 48 inches because of my sewing allowance so i'm going to cut out 48 inches this is what the upper block looks like so let's go ahead and break this way so the wideness of 
the cape totally depends on how wide you want it to be so you can make use of four inches you can make use of three it just depends on how wide you want it to be so for me now i'm going to make use of three and a half so by the time i'm done sewing i will have two and a half inches so that's what we have for the wideness and why for the length we are going to have 48 inches so i'll go ahead now and cut that out so guys after cutting it out this is what we have so on a double fold this way we have three and a half okay we have three and a half so by the time you open it up this way you're going to have about seven inches once it's opened up this way so go ahead now and fix this into our upper bodies guys the next thing you are going to do now is this is our cape right and this is the upper body so you go ahead now and place it this way so you go ahead now and place it this way and then you stitch it all the way so by the time you are done and it flips over to this side this is what you are going to have so guys we've gone ahead now to fix our cape you can see what it looks like you can see what it looks like once you are done with that you go ahead and attach your Play to the lower side of your dress and the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and cut out your belt now the length of your belt totally depends on how long you want it to be and also the wideness of your belt totally depends on how wide you want your belt to be so I went ahead now to attach my belt to this part and on this side on this side we are going to go ahead now and create a little opening where our belt is going to pass through so this is what it looks like let's go ahead now and fix this on the mannequin and show you guys how to wrap it hi guys so once you are done with that this is what you have you can see our cape and then we have our belt and this is so cute guys so i hope you guys learned a lot from this tutorial please give this video a thumbs up yeah. like share and subscribe let me know what you will rock this top with in the comment section and i'll see you guys in my next one bye